Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I have an unboxing from Victoria Moon, Victoria's Moon. Uh, this is my review uh, kit. I received an email, um, as I've already stated, from Victoria's Moon asking if I would do a review along with every other diamond painting YouTuber. And um, I couldn't decide what I wanted because there are a huge number of kits on the site. Um, I know there are some mixed reviews out there. And um, yeah, I took my time in choosing a picture that I wanted as well as one that I thought would be suitable for a review. So the box is a little bit squashed. It didn't come by uh, DHL, but um, I don't think our courier system is terribly flash in Australia or maybe Tasmania. Uh, it's come the same as my previous kit, so the canvas is wrapped around the outside of the box with the drills on the centre. So I'm expecting a little bit of damage given the squashing on the box, but not much this time around. Empty box. This is actually in pretty good condition, uh, except for the ends. Okay, kit is one of the cheap and nasty bags with the really crinkly plastic. Double sided adhesive if you need any repairs. A tweezers again reasonably cheap. Um, it's a maybe a nine placer. Single placer pen. This one's intact, my other one was broken. Small wax green boat. So reasonably generic there. This crowd use a different adhesive. They use the twin USA twin adhesive. I found when I pulled it back off a previous um, kit that it um, it lost its waxiness. Now the canvases themselves feel really good, um, but it yeah it lost its um, kind of the grease factor that you've got on a Sonore um, double sided tape. This is a single, there's no join in this, so it's a single width. The size that I asked for was a 40 by 70, uh, 70 by 40. This is a black stallion, you will see, or stallion there. You're not going to see much with my camera, but this is it. Star, it's forward. 20 colours in blacks and greys. There is a bit of an overlap. This is the only inventory that comes in these kits that's down on the side. And this is the only inventory on this um, 70 by 40 canvas. Um, so I'll need to copy it. There's not much creasing as it's um, relaxing down. There's a little bit of heavy um, curves on one side. Just peeling this cover back. The drill field again oops, is amazing. It's beautifully clear. Okay. I'm not seeing any rivers uh, creasing or anything else. They're symbols. Are really quite crisp. Um, 310 on this is a flower, which is probably nice given that it's 310 hell. Um, Alright, let me turn this. This is the top of the horse's forage. I've forgotten all the names of the bits of the horse. Fetlock, forelock, forelock, that's what that is. Um, there is some contrast through here. 20 colours isn't um, a great deal. Um, most of this is black. There's a couple of highlights through here, a couple of highlights here on the neck. Um, this is the side of the cheek of the horse star here. This is also into the eye socket and cheek. This is all black, but there isn't much contrast really. 
on the photo. Um, clarity though is spot on. Let me take a picture without some of the shine and show you. Alright, I'll post that up. Just looking at it with some of the shine against it and I'm not seeing any rivers, rippling bubbles or anything else. So it's a good start. See what the bottom looks like. The bottom is where it's all happening on this image. Okay, not much of an overlap on the bottom with the adhesive. The overlap is happening at the side. Oh, that's interesting. It is interesting. Okay, we've got a sticky bit here that's been added on. Hmm, I don't know why that's... maybe they trimmed it themselves. I'm not seeing a join, and there's no join in the cover, but there's an extra sticky bit on the side there, which is not necessary at all. Okay. Alright, so there is the muzzle. Um, yeah, not much definition. There's little bits of highlights through here. These are obviously greater highlights, but um, this could be quite interesting. The black has actually got a background of green. These are square drills, so, so they will fill in all the bits. Again, not seeing any rivers or bubbles or anything other than some of the creasing where it's um, folded in the box. Alright, let's go for size. I think the last one was true to size. And this one again is true to size. It's 40. By 70. I didn't want to go for something too big that I'd never get able to finish. And I thought 40 by 70 would be big enough to give me some of the detail or most of the detail in this image without losing too much. Alright, there's the canvas. I'm quite happy with that. The kit number here on the bag. As I expected, the bucket load of 310. Oh, these are, are numbered again, and 20 of these to go. So let's take a look. 20. Okay, so everything is here. It's all done by weight. So I've got 147 grams of 310. That's probably, well, okay. So it's, like it's on par with um, Rachel's Nightbringer, but it's not. The shimmer, I'm looking at this. I'm, I've got the, the lights right above the bag and I'm moving my head and it's catching the light. So let me do. This is what my head was seeing, or my eyes were seeing really. Um, now I know it's seeing the butt end of these. There are some dimples. <coughs> a 
too many in there. Okay. Let's see what we can see. Size-wise, it's reasonably even. I'm seeing a couple of odd sizes, but the majority are pretty good. They're clean, they don't have nibs, they don't have extra bits. Uh, it is a 13 facet, I think it's 13, it's the lower one. Um, so it's no Diamond Art Club glimmer. They're not bad, though, they're not bad. I'm um, seeing a reasonable mix of diamonds versus squares. There's two different patterns on a drill. There's a diamond top and a square top. So that you get the shine giving different directions. Um, no static on those. No static really noticed on any of the bags. Um, this kit, I did have it up a second ago, is $25.99 sterling, um, that is roughly 35 Aussie, um, I think, I don't think the website has an option for Aussie or not. There is a sister Victorian store, I will post the link in the description. Um, they do say that they have a number of sites around the world, so um, they, the websites might say that they're from a particular country and the store might say it's .co.uk in this instance, but I don't think um, anything else is actually based in the UK. Um, I think everything ships from uh, China. The shipping label though on my bag came from a Melbourne Victoria address so it could be that they send it to Victoria and then they deal with it from there. Um, it's not a bad little kit though, the price is probably on point. The kit, the, look it's nothing special um, for a review but I mean if I was to have bought this kit I would be reasonably happy I think. Um, I'm a little bit concerned with the lack of detail, that's my fault, that's going for the smaller size. You certainly one wouldn't want to be going smaller. It does offer 20 by 35 and right up to 80 by 140. So um, you do, you've got a huge range in any of the pictures in this store. Um, I certainly recommend going and checking them out. Um, their images are gorgeous. Um, I had got a problem with my previous canvas from Victoria's Moon that I purchased. I let um, the support centre know, not my review person. I let the support centre know and they immediately responded, like within hours, they immediately responded saying, would you like a refund or would you like a replacement canvas? And I said, I'd like a replacement canvas. So they said, yep, yeah, we're on it and we'll get you a shipping tracking number as soon as we can. So from that point of view, um, they're spot on as well. So this one I don't see any issues. I'll respond to Alvina. I'll say that I've got my kit and um, let her know when I get around to getting my review done of actually working with this. But the drills look really good for squares. Um, I'm not anticipating too many issues. Hopefully it's not going to be a, a hua can hell with popping drills, but um, that remains to be seen. So we'll see how we go with squares. My other kit was round, I believe. Um, so yeah, yet to be tested on both those, but I wanted to try both round and square and um, yeah, see how I felt about them. Um, Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like my video, um, click subscribe or um, drop me a comment if you have anything to share about Victoria's Moon or anything else. Um, and yes, I'll have a picture of this gorgeous horse um, when I do my editing. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.